And then, of course, you would have looked right across, like I said, right across the mirror. Hmm? There would have been her lake. So, I guess your bed was right in the middle and right here? Yeah, I don't really know, because... Well, are these cool. fireplaces? I know. Yeah, these, so yeah, these are fireplaces. So, this was two separate rooms? Yes. So there's one fireplace and another fireplace. So, so fireplace she, fireplace. she would have been on this room, and then you would have had this room. So, so that would have been her view. That. Yep. Yep, those would have been your two fireplaces right here. Up on the wall. And then the inner wall right here, her beds, the beds would have been on. So her courtier, remember you had one person that slept with you, huh? Yeah. So her courtier would have been right here, and then she would have been on the other side of the wall. If you watch Versailles, his courtier sleeps at the sleeps bed. at the bottom of his bed. Yep, up we go, dear. Well, I take that back. We go over. that way once. Oh, somebody needs to come clean up the pigeon poo. Still got some of the wood. Great views as you would walk up. And then they said, Oh my. Just look at those pictures. So you you would have had lovely windows right there. And at night just thinks you could have seen right anybody walking through here would have been able to see right in the building. And the great ballrooms over there. Very nice. Across the way into the keep. It's either a window or it could be a doorway. It's got it's stairs. Stairs. Yep, could easily have been a doorway. What's it say here? Lester's building in the Great Tower. So you would have had this great, huge window. one we saw down below that's what it would look like it was designed to mirror the 12th century great tower it should equal the ancient tower in magnificence in order that the upper floor be added to make them similar in height the chamber on the highest floor of the building was a bedroom for one of the most important courtiers, perhaps Lady Sidney uh, Robert Langham, who wrote a detailed description of Elizabeth's stay, described visiting Lady Sidney's chamber at that time. Its bay windows offered some of the finest views of the castle over the base court and north over the roof of a now missing building towards the Great Tower. See, there's the there's the keep, and so yeah, and this is where we're at, and there would have been a building right across. So that's what that is. So yeah, right across here, here look, would have been the building right across, going over to the keep. It's missing parts, part of it's right there.
And it goes all the way over. See? So they blew that wall out. Oh, they're a bunch of dicks. Like I said, it's what happens when people don't want to talk about history and don't care. But yeah, there was a great building that went all the way across. It would have been very gorgeous. Very pretty. So just like that window right there, you would have one there and one there. Drama and dancing at Kenilworth. <laughs> and pigeons. This is almost a little vertigo inducing. <laughs> For me, so just think right in front of us right here would have been a great lake stocked with fish. This room is formerly a long room with numerous bay windows. It's probably designed as a long gallery in which the queen can relax in private above her bedchamber. <laughs> what a great story. Yep, this little private area. So they tell a story over here. On a specific day, the 17th of July, 1575, huh? she was supposed to be standing over there. So there was three windows. See the one window down there? No, that was her walk to her private bedchambers, though. But anyway, so she, there was a window there and there. So I guess the queen was on the second floor. And then this was a ballroom. <coughs> Big bay windows on the side. Of course, stretching all the way up. Beautiful view right at the moment. This was all water. As was this over here. But right down here was the courtyard. And she was supposed to be standing there or sitting there watching a play as the Britons, the Coventry men uh, staged a, a Danish, the Britons against the Danish. But she missed all of it because she was enjoying watching the dancing inside this room too much. And so she made him come back two days later and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> How cool to have such a trivial little story known and documented. And of course, there's the guardhouse. And the lovely walk you would have had with the mirror on either side. Mirror being a lake. It would have stretched way over there. There's a really good view of it, huh? like to go over there to the Pleasance if we can. <laughs> yeah, so his car is over there. Well, we're at the top of this one. And some of these potholes they have in the walls were just because they would embed wood. They leave holes so you could put wood things in so you could hang things. Right? But these are really neat. See the latches for the doors.
the sea. Yep, you would have you had a hole right there for your torches for the windows. The doves? Yeah. This is so magnificent. I uh, just. All right, we're burning daylight.